I, I got into planetary science in the 1970s. And in those days, Carl Sagan was everything. We see that space and time are intertwined. We cannot look out into space without looking back into time. The speed of light is very fast, but space is very empty, and the stars are very far apart. And there was a great temptation to uh, make fun of Carl Sagan because he was on TV all the time. We see that now with other science popularizers. Carl Sagan wasn't the greatest planetary scientist of his era, but in some ways he was the most important because he was the one who communicated not only the facts, but the excitement of what was going on to a generation of people who saw him on TV. John Muir was a man who was not the only person who loved nature, was not the only person who would write about it, but he was the person who knew how to communicate both the science and the mystical idea and the common sense that anyone else could then see immediately what he was talking about and what needed to be done. That's what made him special.